Directed by Yosef Bangi Noen, 24 Hours with Casper starring Reza Rahadi and Shanina Cinnamon and Laura Basuki in the lead roles is finally released on Netflix. As the Indonesia dystopian thriller releases on the streaming platform, we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview, talk about the ending and discuss some details of the film so that you can have the best viewing experience. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the movie. But if you are done watching it already, let's dive straight into the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel, it helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on to the basic plot. After an underground fight run by Agnes, Casper, a private detective, is taken to an underground doctor and learns that the device that makes his heart work no longer works. Unlike the others, Casper has his heart on the right side of his body and he must repair the device because he only has 24 hours to live. Casper was investigating the disappearance of his childhood friend Kirana. He describes himself as an orphan who fell from the sky and was raised by an old man named Babaji. He always told him the stories of the villagers who lived at the foot of Govardhan mountain and how their lives were influenced by Indra and Krishna. Apparently, the villagers prayed to Lord Indra for rain, but this made Indra arrogant. To teach Indra a lesson, Lord Krishna asked the villagers to stop praying to Indra and help them move to Govardhan hill as that was where all the rainwater came from. This obviously made Indra angry and he made it rain for seven days and nights. So Krishna raised Govardhan hill and used it to shelter the villagers from the torrential rain. On the fifth day, a farmer named Achal found a black box that had the power to grant any wish. Babaji asked Casper what he would do if he found such a black box and he said that he would ask for a friend. This is where Kirana came into the picture. Kirana lived in an elegant house with her father, one Ali, and befriended Casper. They talked about the detective stories that Casper loved, they wandered the neighborhood and watched the corpses being dragged out of the houses, and they even welcomed Kik into their group. One day, Casper had to go away to have his heart checked which was on the right side of his body as we discussed. And when he returned, Kirana was no longer there. From that day on, Gasper dedicated seemingly every day of his life to searching for Kirana. The prevailing theory was that Kirana was sold to solve one Ali's financial problems. Gasper now believed that the black boss was in one Ali's possession, which he had received from Bakhtiaris Abdullah. So Gasper's goal was not only to bankrupt one Ali, but also to get his hands on this black box and hopefully find Kirana. While 24 hours with Gasper was realistic for the most part, it got a little abstract when it came to the contents of the black box. Anyway, in the present, Casper has learned that Kirana's father, Wanali, has sold his daughter. His informant gives Casper an address. He takes it to the house of Wanali's sister-in-law, Butati. Butati reveals that Wanali married her sister, a relationship Butati did not accept. She does not know how her sister could love such a man. However, when Butati lost her husband, it was her sister and Wanali who gave her a place to live, as Butati's husband left her a mountain of debt. Butati has a son named Yadi who works in Wanali's jewelry store. Butati, she she does not have a good relationship with her son. She thinks he is ungrateful for everything she has done for him. She has gotten older and tends to forget things. Therefore, she can't really help Gasper when it comes to what happened to Kirana, Wanali's daughter. Gasper continues to keep an eye on Wanali's jewelry store and eventually comes face to face with him. He wants revenge and for this, he forms a team. A girl named Agnes von Krosky, who likes to be called Afef, chases Gasper because she wants to learn detective stuff. She joins the team on the condition that she will get Gasper's bike if he dies within the next 24 hours. Gasper also goes in search of Kig, a childhood friend of Kirana and her boyfriend Nyet, who dreams of a better life for them. Kig is not at all happy to see Gasper, who left her and told her to go out with Nyet. She shows no interest in joining Gasper in this plan. Kik and Nyet eventually realize that it is smart to join Gasper. Nyet wants to build something real with Kik and by stealing from Wanali, they could have everything they need. Gasper and Agnes also recruit Butati by telling her the truth. Butati's husband Bakhtiare Sabdilla did not commit suicide and left Butati with huge debts. It was Wanali who killed Bakhtiare Sabdilla after learning that he had the black box. According to legend, this box contains all the knowledge on earth. Some say it brings good luck and has the power to preserve people's precious treasures. Wanali stole this box, his wealth from Bakhtiaris Abdullah and killed him. He then told Tati a false story and pretended to help her. After learning the truth, Butati joins the team. Eventually, Gasper recruits Tati's son Yadi to work for them after showing him that Wanali had slept with his wife. Gasper assembles his team who will raid Wanali's jewelry store. While Gasper seeks revenge, the others will steal Wanali's fortune. The team put the plan to rob the jewelry store into action after spotting Wanali in another of his hideouts. To this surprise, however, they find Wanali with the whole gang in his shop. Outnumbered Gasper and his team run away and in an unfortunate turn of events, Tati, Yadi, Kik and Nyad drive their car into the water while fleeing from Wanali's gang. 
After losing many of his teammates, Casper blames himself. Agnes then reminds him that he must finish what he started. With a new plan in motion, Agnes poses as Casper and has one of his gang follow her to an underground location where the poor suicide. She orders the people present there to attack one of his gang claiming that it is these people who are making them poor and are the sole reason for their suffering. One Ellie's gang, outnumbered by all the unfortunate people surrounding them, is finally defeated. Meanwhile, Gasper focuses on One Ellie, who is alone in his shop. He beats One Ellie until his death. However, until his death, One Ellie refrains from revealing what happened to Kirana. Looking for Kirana, Gasper goes to One Ellie's other hideout. Essentially, at the end of the film, the main character cuts off One Ellie's finger, opening a warehouse full of children and the organs that had been harvested from the people killed by One Ellie and his company. When he got to the black box and opened it, he saw a smaller version of Kirana sitting inside, looking at Casper with a melancholy look. Bakhtiaris Abdullah said that the box had the capacity to store a person's most precious treasure, so if you look at things through the lens of magical realism, Wanali may have asked the black box to lock Kirana inside so she would be protected from the world that was kidnapping girls her age and harvesting their organs. The black box granted Wanali's wish and locked Kirana inside for 23 long years. But considering we don't see Casper into Acting with this miniaturized version of Kirana, I guess I'll have to go with the realistic option that Kirana is dead. The film focuses on the idea that when there is no hope left in the world, people tend to lie to themselves to get ahead. Once they start believing the lie they tell themselves, it doesn't matter if there is any kind of success waiting for them at the end of their journey. It is empty faith that keeps them alive. Gaspers will to live probably died the day Kirana disappeared. Deep down, he knew that the despicable Wanali had killed his own daughter and sold her body parts and that the black box was just an object that fueled his superstition like a good luck charm. But Gasper convinced himself that Kirana was alive and that the black box contained the key to solving the mystery of her disappearance. When he opened the box, maybe he saw an old photo of Kirana or maybe there was nothing inside. Gasper was visibly upset by what he saw and it reminded him of the time he had spent with Kirana but it is entirely possible that the emptiness inside the box made him realize that his search was in vain. However, instead of simply accepting the truth about the futility of his journey, Gasper decided to act act on it and free the girls imprisoned by Wanali. He was too young to do anything for Kirana. By the time he was old enough to make a difference, the chance to save Kirana was gone. But Gasper realized that he could ensure that the girls like his childhood friend did not have to endure the same ordeal. And he used his final moments to give them a second chance at life. Well, it seems noble and all, there is a hint of bitterness in this conclusion because those girls end up in a dystopia. Yes, they have the opportunity to shape their own future. However, there is a good chance that another gang involved in organ harvesting will kidnap them to another prison, starting their cycle of misery once again. Therefore, 24 Hours with Casper indirectly conveys the message that people should not allow things to become so bad that the prospect of a solution is a distant reality. We shouldn't lie to ourselves or resort to mythological stories to pass the time. We must act now so that children like Casper and Kirana can have a normal and healthy childhood. Anyway, in the end, Casper frees all the girls and leaves on his bike. At the end of the day, it is implied that he dies. His death looks like a bicycle accident as people gather to see who it is. Tati, Yadikik and Nyad all survive their accident. They return to Wanali's jewelry store where Agnes is and celebrate their victory. The dystopian thriller offers a compelling albeit depressing story of vengeance, despair and hope. The film is a decent dystopian thriller that will probably keep you hooked until the end credits roll. It has an interesting premise, is visually solid and the fight scenes are well choreographed. However, the story sometimes seems scattered. The filmmakers incorporate several themes and ideas in the first half such as Agnes's fight club and the mythological aspects but then abandoned them in time for the big heist. Considering everything I can say that the film was somewhat good but just like Gasper it did not have its heart in the right place. Hey 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 thank you for watching this video do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching 24 hours with Gasper on Netflix. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema series. See you at the next one and for the timing we are signing off. Salamat Tingle and I'll be back.